Yes, this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show only on Expresso. It's SABC3. We're all very excited, as you can see what's happening here behind me, because we are spending time with world-renowned uh, renowned pioneer in yoga. She's the founder of Forest Yoga, which aims to teach yoga that extends far beyond the reaches of the yoga mat and reaches deep into your personal life where emotional healing is needed. She wrote a book called Fierce Medicine. I'm talking, of course, about Anna Forrest, and this is the one holding this handstand. It is absolutely crazy. Anna. Good morning. Good morning, human. Oh, my word. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to do a handstand. I don't know for how long. I just can't get it right. You need the right teacher. I need the right teacher, and I'm hoping you are, I you're going to be that one. But Come but, here and let's do it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's have a chat first. Okay, <laughs> <let's do it. laughs> I need to warm up here. But anyway, welcome back. You've been with us about two years ago. Yes. You came on the show. Yes. Very nice to have you back. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back in South Africa. Oh, man, it's lovely. And we're gonna, you're going to show us some great stuff throughout the show in terms of yoga. What can people do? Of course. What can yoga do for you? So let's talk a bit about your journey. I mean, for those people who's not familiar with your story, you have a very interesting story. You did your first yoga class at the age of 14. Yes, it was a dare. A dare. And it was actually, that was a great way of motivating me because if someone had said to me, oh, I have something that'll make you feel better or to stop smoking, I would have blown them off. Yeah. But the dare was irresistible. Okay. All right. So, so, so what was it like, your very first yoga class that really grabbed you? What, what was it about yoga? I didn't know what grabbed me at that time, but it was like something kind of hooking in and pulling me back in. It was very seductive yeah. in a way that I couldn't figure it out. And I was terrible. I would go forward and I could grab right behind my knees, and that's how tight really? that I was. Because I used to train horses, so I was like this yeah. all the time. And I was a alcoholic and I smoked three packs a day and I was sure. doing any drugs that I could so it was it, it was sort of shocking that something got through to me. Sure, all right. And you made a complete 360 in terms of your life. I mean, you, totally. you changed around a full turn and yes. And then here you are today as one of the world's most renowned yoga teachers. But I mean, what is it about your yoga? Because yoga, you look at it as a form of exercise, but, but for you it goes further. It's yes. into emotional healing as well. What is your approach to yoga? My approach to yoga is finding out what does, like, in working with you, like, what do you need? So if you're working with, like, if you were a camera person, you were holding cameras on your shoulders, your neck and your shoulders would be really tight and painful. Yeah. And probably your low back. Like, mm -hmm. most of our people have low back pain and uh, gut dysfunction. You know, like being exactly. constipated or pain in their guts yes. and things like that. And so I've devised a whole lot of different poses that strengthen the abdominals and get rid of back pain and neck pain and carpal tunnel syndrome. Like that, so I'd, I've created forest yoga to create to address the problems that we're dealing with now in yeah. this 21st century, not 5,000 years ago. So, All like right. our stress problems, our challenges, exactly. living in the daily modern life, our addictions, yes. our lack of connection to ourself, because we're no longer taught how to gain wisdom from feeling our body. We're taught to be so cerebral. And so I teach people how to use their mind in a very different way so that they make a more intelligent connection through their body. And then they can make better decisions for yeah. their life and live their life in a way they can be proud of, which is very exciting. Which I like because it's not only exercise, but you really, no. you really focus on you as a person, your body, your emotional state as well. And you get healthier. And you get healthier. And you get, you get very strong. Well, based on, <laughs> based on the hands, handstand that I just yeah. saw, yes, I can believe it. Okay, cool. So we're going to chat about your book, Fierce Medicine, a little, yeah. little bit, but I think you need to give us a bit of a taste so you need to give me and the viewers out there a bit of a taste of what you do so what can i do you must show me this is uh, your two assistants we have gary and jumbo right yes. here how's it guys awesome and the, they're assisting me in the teacher training that i'm doing in cape town at yoga life so they're yeah. it's really great for men to see that men benefit from yoga and that they can be strong and you know exactly that they benefit because yeah. a lot of men are really frightened of yoga Yes. They don't know quite because, how to yeah, get there. Because almost it's, it's, it's seen as, you know, it's something that women do. You know, it's men really... Isn't that a good enough reason to go? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess. All right, cool. Women so, sweating? I mean, come on. Yeah, exactly. So so you're going to be here in Cape Town up until the 20th of March? Yes. All right, so yes. doing a lot of teacher, also book signings. Teacher teachings. training and a book signing that and a reading that people can come to. It's an open event at Yoga Life. And if they look at the website of yogalife.com, they get that information. But there's also morning classes. Oh, that good. the public is welcome to, and there's also beginner classes that the trainees, my teacher trainees, will be teaching. So all, right. all that information is listed out there, but I really invite people to come because exactly. it's such an unusual and compelling experience. Exactly. It's, it's like it's fun, it's challenging, 
and even though you may be quivering through a lot of it when you're done... <laughs> it's a good thing to quiver. Feel, yeah, it's, it's a, a good very good quiver. thing. It means you're working. And then you feel great. Exactly. Because you've just unloaded, like, an entire lifetime of crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put all those dates and venues on our website as well, expressoshow.com. Thank you. Let's get into this. What, what, okay. what, what are you going to show me first? What are you going to do? First, I want you to do a forward bend to warm up your back. So just okay. hang forward. Just, just keep just in mind that I'm, I, that I'm wired, literally. You're Got wired. Lots of wires. Yes, well, <laughs> okay. this shouldn't disturb your wire. Okay. All right, now, let your neck relax, because everyone in the world needs to relax the neck. And then focus on the sides of your ribs, inhale and spread your ribs. Because if you can change your pattern of breathing and get a deeper inhale and exhale, you start changing your whole stress pattern yeah. and your ability to think clearly. So this is something that, you know, everyday people out there can start with that's yes. not familiar with it. And if they're oh. really tight in the back of the knees, they can bend the knees oh, a little like bit. Like I am. Yeah, well, you're not that tight. You're more flexible really? than I was when I started. Yeah, oh, wow. I, could, I was reaching right there. All right. All but right. I can feel like just by hanging, I can yeah, you're feel getting myself stretching more and more and more. So now take a breath, and then exhale, relax your neck more. So if your people that watch the show can learn to relax their neck and take deep breaths, that in itself is tr dramatically incredible. It will just so change yeah. what they're doing. But I mean, so when you come up now, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone down so the buttock muscles and belly is supporting your back, and then pick the head up last. Wow. And that is, that is such a simple start, but I felt as I started, I wasn't able to even come close to the right. ground, but look at that. But I when can, you, yeah, I that's can, I can put my, actually my hands under my you wood. You can grab your feet. I can grab my feet. That is incredible. And that is something very, very important. But you have to breathe deeply and relax, not bouncing exactly. into it. Because that'll just make the muscles go Thank tighter. You. Anna. Want to do another one? No. I will. <laughs> a little bit. Give me a little, you know, just give me a second here. But okay. very nice to have you on the show. Stay Thank tuned. You. Get your yoga mats ready because she's going to be with us all morning. We're going to do some great yoga stuff a little bit later on. But right now, let's head over to the kitchen because a new, lovely, fun recipe is beckoning. <laughs> 